Hey guys, it's Bishop Shelsey here, and welcome to episode 52 of the Berlin Dynamo series. Now, today's episode, we're uh, we're looking pretty good actually. Things have definitely turned around now that we've uh, we've started using this uh, 4-2-4 tactic. Uh, as you can tell by the league table positions here, nothing's really changed sort of as far as where we're sitting. We haven't really gone above 10th. Actually, looking at that, we actually haven't gone above 10th for the entire season so far. Um, and unfortunately, probably in this episode, depending on the results, we will probably not go above 10th anyway. So we've got two very difficult games today. We've got FC Cologne first, who are in fifth place, as you can see there. Uh, and then we've got Bochum, who are currently leading the league at the moment. So like I said, very difficult games at the same time. Um, I've been looking at transfers actually, and I've noticed that I've only got a million in the bank balance. Um, we've lost a lot of money this season. And I'm starting to think, because I've got a transfer going at the moment, which is a, a release clause for a player for 975000 starting to think to myself, maybe I shouldn't do that, despite having $2.5 in the transfer budget. But then, going into next season... I might not get a transfer budget that big, and therefore I might not be able to buy that player. So I'm making some tough decisions. We're also trying to get Veloso Dos Santos here on a permanent deal as well. So his, um, his contract's actually running out with Porto at the moment. Uh, so I put in a pre-contract offer. However, he has an optional extension on that contract that he currently has with Porto. So I'm assuming they're going to trigger that, keep him there for another season, and then I can go back in in a few weeks with the, the 61,000. Uh, let's have a look here. It is 65,000. So as you can see here, he's got that optional extension there. And then 65,000 there as well. So it, um, it, it's probably going to work out. I'm, I'm hoping it is anyway. Although the only issue I could see... Actually, no, I don't think that will be an issue. I was going to say the fact that he's been offered a new contract, but technically he wouldn't have been offered a new contract. It would have just been the extension. Therefore, I don't think it's going to fall back, if that makes sense. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, I've shown you the league table. You can kind of see it there. We don't really need to go into too much extra detail. Uh, the recent fixtures, like I said, we've been very good recently. Very good. Uh, of course, previous episode was Regensburg, the loss against Regensburg, uh, and the subsequent tactic change, I believe, and it was the win against Osnabrück 2-1. We followed that up with a demolition of our Dynamo, rival, Dynamo rivals. 7-1 victory over Dynamo Dresden. Absolutely annihilated them off the park in this game. Havacic opened the scoring for us. Senhaji got the next goal. Havacic had a goal disallowed. Barry got himself a goal. I think that was his first of the season there as well. Jabali got a goal. Tebow got a goal. Hog got a goal. And then Senhaji got himself a second goal as well. Uh, as you can see, Barry with a, a couple of assists in there as well. So pretty, pretty damn happy with that performance, if I'm being honest. Uh, the next game was a one-all draw against Grutha Firth. Bit of a disappointing one, actually. As you can see, Gell got the lead for us. And then, unfortunately, we gave away the lead. First shot on target, Melgez, a little bit, little bit disappointing. He wasn't too disappointing in the overall game. Um, but when he was called upon, he did concede this goal uh, and essentially gave away two points, more, more or less. And Puthi was to blame as well, uh, but we move on. Next game was a 4-0 victory, this one against Elversburg. Very, very clinical type of game. Um, didn't concede in this one either. As you can see, the, the back line, uh, both both wingbacks getting themselves assists, which is very good to see. Uh, Melges with a solid goalkeeper performance. Gel getting himself a brace. Uh, Dos Santos on the score sheet there as well. And then Senhaji also on the score sheet. Lovely stuff. Big win over Elversburg. And the most recent game played, a 4-2 victory over Hertha Berlin. Our Berlin rivals, and we uh, we actually managed to go four 0 up on them through Jabali, and then a Pavicic hat trick there as well. Barry getting himself two more assists in this game, and uh, yeah, 
we, we, we did concede two goals, one of which was a penalty, which I'm not too fussed about. Dardai was actually a, a very, very good free kick as well. Uh, but Melger's getting a, a 7.2. They had eight. They had more shots on target than us and a higher XG. And we managed to, to score four goals and they couldn't score as many as us. So we, we won that game. Anyway, let's, uh, let's not make this episode too long. Let's get straight into the, the team lineup today. Um, it's pretty much exactly the same uh, as that last game, uh, except for Prevel. So Prevel's come in. Olg has picked up an, a suspension, sorry. I thought it was an injury. I was looking up at Tyru. Um, so yeah, he's suspended for today. Dos Santos, Senhaji, they're going to be our starting defensive midfielders. The back line is pretty much the same. Romero's actually playing somewhat well at the moment. It's ridiculous. Uh, but he is also improving. He's been improving... Pretty much since the day he came back from loan, which is very strange to me, but it, it's been happening. So there you go. And um, Puthi and Tebow starting in center defense. Barry and Pavicic, they've sort of solidified themselves as the starting wingers for us in this tactic. And then Gel and Jabali up top. Let's, uh, let's get into it. All righty. FC clone, they're a good side, but if we carry on with pretty much with how we've been playing, I would say we probably could have got promoted this season had we used this tactic. Again, we we don't know if it would have performed this well early in the season, um, but it would have been a good shout. Anyway, Prevo with a free kick, hits the crossbar. Dos Santos heads it just over. Uh, but this tactic has been a very promising change. From, from all the draws we had. We're actually winning games now. Um, and yeah, I'm just happy. Uh, I'm not happy about that though. Melges with an injury in goals. So Clayton's going to come on to replace him. But Melges has been very important with these, these games we've been winning recently. Don't get me wrong. Clayton's a good goalkeeper as well. It's the reason why I kept him uh, when I could have sold him. I also think he's got... He's got more value than 550k. I think um, we can sell him for a, at least a few million once we get promoted. He's only 24 years old. That's pretty young for a goalkeeper still. Um, and obviously, he's English as well. So, you know, a, bit, a bit of an English tax, hopefully. Um, that's a poor ball there. And Loner in behind Mikoku. He's deadly. Even on this version of the game, I know he was really good last on last year's version. He's still really good. He's a natural-born goal scorer, Mukoku. And he, he puts them in the lead, 1-0. Now they have a corner. Okay, we, we deal with it. Sent Haji on the breakaway now. I think that's Gel who was getting in his way. And we lose the ball. Frustrating. Oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh my God, Clayton, thank you. What was that by Mputhi? That was absolutely dreadful. Are we going back to this defensive fragility? It seems like it. My God, that was... I don't want to say the word, but it was bad. I almost feel like since Melges has gone off, we, we've just seemed like a different team, almost. We look scared, almost. It's, it's a, weird, a weird thing to see. Anyway, Tebow to Prevel. Beats his man. Not bad. Barry has been very good this season. Gives a ball away, but Gel. Oh, please, just finish. Put it in the back of the net. Please. Oh, we almost got a goal there as well. Barry, wide. Clayton's actually playing pretty well. He's on a seven match rating. Everyone else has been pretty dreadful. Um, and I'm probably going to look to make a few subs here as well. 
I'm really hoping that injury is not too bad. Not not that this season really means anything. It is going to be a bit of a write off. I mean, we're we're an outside chance of making the uh, promotion playoff, but I think it's like 15, 16 points, something like that at the moment. I don't think that it's realistic to think that we're gonna gonna be able to come back from that, uh, especially in this game because Mikoko has scored two minutes after the start of the half. Um, we're going to make some subs 50 minutes in and we're already making subs Imputhi is coming off the pitch he's been woeful absolutely woeful Senhaji as well uh, we'll go for Regrawi I still can't pronounce his name properly but Regrawi we'll go for him and then I'm thinking maybe Jabali but actually we'll go Dae Young Dae Young can come on Get his debut for the club, the, the South Korean. He um he finished his loan in the second division of South Korea, uh, and then went to the Asian Asian Games, maybe Olympic Games, Asian Olympic qualifying, so something, something like that. It was probably the Asian Games for the under twenty threes. Um, went there, played in that tournament, and then obviously came back to us. Uh, and I haven't really given him any game time, so I want to do that. He's a good player. 17 finishing. Oh, it's the post. I don't know if it hit the post or he saved it there, but that was a decent shot from Dae Young. I'm really, I'm a little bit frustrated here because we're actually playing somewhat well. 12 shots, five on target. It's not great, but it's, it's literally Mikoku and their winger, Lubicic, or was it Greenwood? That was weird. They've uh, they swapped positions there, and then he took his rating. He took his rating. And Romero's on a five point nine. I literally talked to Romero up and said he was playing well, uh, and then he gets absolutely skinned down his side. Like I said, it, it, these are going to be tough games. So I'll take a two 0 loss against Cologne. I think that's fair, probably. Uh, this was the player I was going in for. And he's not interested. 18-year-old um, finish right back. Looks very good. Professional mentality as well. Personality, sorry, not mentality. Uh, but yeah, doesn't want to talk to us. So, so be it. Ah, so there, there, there it goes. So Dos Santos. It's been cancelled. Automatic tr contract extension. But big, big, big brain plays. Big brain plays. Now I can go in for the... Uh, the future fee on the loan. Um, it was Lubicic, yeah. I, I figured it was. See, that's frustrating. I know he's a good he's a good player, but is he is he honestly like that much better than some of our players we have? He is mentally, don't get me wrong. A lot of our young players have very bad mental stats. But I I, I honestly don't rate him that much. He's 34 years old. Yeah, so there you go. Broken hand for Melges. Five to six weeks. Oh, that's frustrating. Anyway, I'm going to skip forward the two weeks here and I'll join you guys back for the lineup against Bochum. All right. So let's get into the team lineup here for Bochum. Um, only a couple of force changes. Obviously, Prevel comes in as Hulk did actually, did actually pick up an injury uh, after coming back from suspension. Sprained ankle ligaments, two to three weeks, which is fine. Uh, and then Melges, obviously, still out for another four weeks, which is disappointing. Uh, but then we have Clayton coming in. So hopefully Clayton can put in a big performance today. He's actually wanted by Hanover. And I think he was wanted by Werder Bremen as well uh, throughout the season. So it's kind of interesting. Uh, we did sell Lemons, um, something I'll go over. He's going to be joining Anderlecht for 400k. Or there or thereabouts, it was about 400k. Um, so yeah, one one problem solved. Um, but then we got an injury to our first team goalkeeper in Melges. But yeah, so they're the only real changes from the, the previous game. I'm going to stick with Romero. Uh, actually, Naranjo comes in as well. I forgot to mention that. Uh, Imputhi picked up an injury as well. So he's going to be out for two weeks. As a result, Naranjo comes in. Imputhi was it was pretty shit last game. Let's let's be real. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. 
Uh, Naranjo is not match fit. We've got a few people out there that are not match fit. Prevel, Naranjo, and Clayton. Let's go out and see what we can do against the team currently in first place in two Bundesliga. All right, so I want to see a better performance. Um, I, I just noticed as well, but we're actually versing Kaiserslautern up next, and they're, they're currently second in the league behind Bochum. So three very tough fixtures back to back to back. It's going to be it's going to be rough. But I would love to pick up a win here today. Prevel with a big win plays it forward to Gel. He's got Jabali. Goes to Pavicic and he hits the crossbar. So unlucky not to be 1 0 up there. But we look good. We look sharp today so far already. We're only a couple of minutes into the game. Thibaut goes to Prevel. Another nice ball to Barry this time. And ball referee. Barry to Pavicic. 1 0. Gets in there. Good start. Exactly what we need. And that is our two inside forwards linking up to give us a goal. All right, Clayton plays short to Tebow. Out to Romero. Need a big game from him today. Into Jabali. I think Gel's offside there. Yeah, I think he was offside. It looked offside to me. Anyway, Barry with another cross in. Jabali, Pavicic. Oh, Pavicic. I, this guy. I, I don't know how, but he, he just... He just scores goals. He just does. No matter what tactic, what position, what role he plays, the man scores goals. And that's why I've given him a, a you know a 12,000 per week contract. He is just that good. Luckily for us, that free kick goes over. But we're 2-0 up against the team coming first. This is what I'm talking about. We have the potential to beat good teams. And it's frustrating that we weren't doing that Throughout the season, we were drawing all the games. We, we were drawing with the big teams uh, using the 4-3-3, but realistically, we should have been winning some of those games. Oh, good tackle, Dos Santos. Very good tackle. We, um, we, we're about to go back in for him, so hopefully he'll accept our new contract offer, and hopefully it won't be you know, much higher than... And the, I think that the pre-contract that we were going to sign him to was a thousand per week on a four-year contract. Don't know what Tebow just did there. That was a bit silly, but ah, oh, that's an easy goal. Might be offside. I think he's actually offside there. I think um prior to the ball being passed, yeah, disallowed. I think he snuck just went off into the, an offside position, so. Very lucky there for us. We've got another free kick here, though, uh, and that's probably 1-0. It's, it's going to be called back as well, but I think that's onside. I think that's going to be 2-1. And it is. Okay, 2-1. Bochum get a goal back. We've got a free kick now, though. Prevel. Can he get it into the box? He can. Headed down, Barry to Pavicic. Might be offside as well. I think that's his hat trick. That's his hat trick. He's onside. Wow. Exactly what I'm talking about. He's just scored a hat trick. Since coming back from injury, he's been a, a very, very big, important player, which is part of the reason why I, I broke the bank per se and, and did give him that big contract. Because uh, it was either that or we lose him in a season. Like, at the end of this season, he would have one year left. Jabali's offside there. A little bit frustrating. Really good finish, though. Very solid finish. I think he's going to be offside, though. He, he looked offside to me. Yeah, disallowed. Okay, we move on. Uh, Jabali actually just got his first cap for... Is it the Moroccan national team? I think it's Morocco. I think it's Morocco. It's either Morocco or Algeria. I can't remember which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's Morocco there. I guess we, we can actually check here at halftime. All right, 3-1 halftime. 
Very good performance so far. Uh, and where is he? Jabali. Tunisian. I was completely wrong. Okay. Tunisian. There we go. Uh, but he got his first cap for Tunisia. So happy, happy for him. Um, he's also happy with his playing time now. So uh, Club Africaine, they came in with the offer. He was already upset that he hadn't been playing. Given him the playing time, said he could leave if they paid 2.7 mil. Obviously, they never came back in with an offer. And uh, now he says he wants to stay. So he can, he can stay if he wants to. This guy's just got his second goal against us and of the season. Both goals coming in this game for him. Very frustrating. Uh, I'm going to make a sub here. Dos Santos is coming off. Or Hauervig, and then I'm just going to ease Senhaji and Barry off tackles. Barry, I'm probably like less concerned about, but yeah, Senhaji in the middle of midfield could be prone to, to picking up a yellow card. Naranjo, 6.5, terrible at the back, but I suppose that's almost to be expected really from him. It is what it is. They've actually got a lot of good performers out there. Um, luckily for us, their, their striker isn't performing too well, although they did just put their winger, uh, up top. I definitely don't like their, the kit they're playing in today. Oh my God. How have we not conceded there? That was ridiculous. All right. We're three, two up. We need to hold on. We need to stay strong. We know how good Bochum actually is. They're winning the league at the moment, or they were prior to this game at the moment. Prevel, he's played well today. I'm impressed. Gel, get in there. 4-2. Surely the, the second goal advantage there once again for us. Surely it does settle it for us. Love that. Now, unfortunately for their goalkeeper, he's played dreadfully today. He's on a 5.8. Despite the defense actually playing pretty good. Very strange. Anyway, there we go. 4-2 victory over the league leaders in Bochum. This goes to show that, I don't know, we can, we can literally beat anyone on our day. We really can. We've actually got a positive 12 goal difference now as well. Um, you look at Regensburg, three points ahead of us. They've got negative four. So when they've, when they've been beaten, they've been absolutely smashed. But there we go. 4-2 victory in front of 5,000 fans. And Pavicic getting himself a hat-trick. Very happy with him. Uh, that's what he looks like at the moment. He doesn't look like the most amazing player. He's only on 11,000, not 12,000. Um, but he's, he's just good. He's just good. I don't know, maybe it's the work rate. He just tries harder than... I honestly, I honestly don't know what it is. Maybe, maybe he does actually try harder um, with the pace that he's got as well. This leads him to, to be able to beat, beat other players, I guess. I don't know. But I love it. I love it, and I love him. He's got the most man in the match awards, highest average rating for us now as well. Uh, and yeah, gel... Top goal scorer at the moment, and Barry, most assists as well. So we're playing good. We're playing good. I'm very happy with how things are going and our momentum at the moment. Um, and that'll pretty much take us into the next episode, which will be end of season. Uh, and we'll take on Chemnitza and then Hansa Rostock as well. A um, couple of big games. We've got the Kaiserslautern game up next, second in the league. Uh, and then, of course, the, the big derby there against Magdeburg. Uh, we've got St. Pauli. We know how tough they can be. Um, and that'll, that'll be just before the next episode. So looking forward to it. Uh, we don't have a lot to play for. We're sort of just playing to try and move up the league at this point. Um, I'd like to, again, I'd like to finish ninth at least. I think that'd be, well, it would equal what we got last season. Um, you look at the balance, the balance is in shambles at the moment. Um, it, we're, we're pretty much losing about 500k per month at this point. Um, and it's pretty much because of the loan here. We would be, we'd be losing about 225000 uh per month, which would still be pretty bad. But, you know, it wouldn't be woeful, per se. 
Um, could actually sell some of these clauses here to, to maybe generate a bit of money. Um, I mean, we'd receive, what, 32000 there. We'd receive 76000 there. We'd receive... Uh, 180,000 there. That's not terrible. Um, cause I don't think he's, I don't think he's actually going to reach 48 league games for, for Braga. So I might actually sell that one. Yeah. I think that's a good one to sell. Um, yeah, 24,000. It's, it's all sort of neg negligible at this point. Um, this Duntas one though was, was pretty good. Um, yeah, 179,000. I don't think he's going to play in 48 league games over the course of two seasons. So good bit of business. Anyway, that's going to wrap up the episode, guys. Make sure you smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as well. And as always, take it easy and goodbye.